Come on, let's get in here. Oh, look at that. Perfect pork pie. And you've got the little bit of jelly in there, look. Because we filled our pie so full. That is sensational. Hi everyone, welcome to Backyard Chef, I'm Rick. Today we're making mini pork pies. We're making those little delicious treats that you know, you can take anywhere, take to work, take on a picnic, so easy to make. Really easy and we're gonna make them a little bit herbier than a standard pork pie and it's only a little touch because we want them as a standalone, take anywhere pie. Straightforward recipe for pork pies. We have to make a hot water crust pastry. And everybody gets worried about making a hot water crust pastry and it is so easy. In here I have my water, I have some butter and I have some shortening. I'm using shortening today, you can use lard. We get a flame on. Now it's a hot water crust pastry. So it's basically hot water. So heat up the water, the butters will melt into there, and that's it. We don't have to boil like crazy. We have to melt that into the water, hot water crust pastry. It's already melting, look. Absolutely super. We'll just give it a stir in a minute. And then we're going to chuck it in our bowl of flour. Mix it all together and that will be our pastry. Then we'll crack on with the meat. It's so simple. So just melt those fats in there. Nice and steady. And there you are. That's hot water. That's flame off. That is it. So in here I have my flour and my salt and we're just adding our hot water and fat mix in there. And then all you do is simply just bring it in. Just bring it in nice and steady. So that's it basically. You know, some people try and cook the flour in the fats. We don't need to do that. In fact, it's too dangerous. Do it the easy way. Put the fats into the flour and mix it in. And then it's a hand in. Make sure your hands are clean and all that carry on. Hand in, bring together. So we need to split that now. You don't have to, but this is my way for today because we want bases and tops. So we are going to one third, two thirds. Bases, top. We're going to get some cling wrap. We're going to wrap these. We're going to let it stand for about 30 minutes or more while we make our meat. Now, the thing is with this, you can put it in the fridge to cool down, or if you've got aircon wherever you live, just put it in an aircon room. We want it cool so it's pliable to actually roll out. Now, if it goes in the fridge for any length of time, the fats in there go slightly hard. When you come to roll it, you have to manipulate it to warm it up. So this is why we want it cool but we don't want it cooled down too much. We're not chilling, over chilling. Okay, put it somewhere to cool while we crack on with the meat. So our meat mix is a straightforward uh, little piece of shoulder which I've cubed up and some mince meat. So the pork shoulder then I've actually cubed into cubes like this. Small cubes, we want chunks of meat in our pork pie. This is like the standard way of making a pork pie. You have chunks in there with your mince. So we have some mince here. Straightforward pork mince. And that is going in there, that pork shoulder. Nice and steady. Give that a mix if you want. So it's already got it mixed through. 
Okay, the next step for us is, is like an optional step, but I recommend it, okay? That is breadcrumbs. It's very little breadcrumbs, but to me it gives a nice mouthfeel. It sticks all the pork together inside. It is definitely recommended doing. Now the purists are going to say, just meat and herbs. Well, let the purists do that. We'll do this. In there with our spices. And then it's just a mix in again. Get it all mixed in, fully incorporated. Give it a little, little work in. We want those spices all the way around that meat. Spices as well, you know. I'm making this a little bit herbier. I've got some thyme in here. Now normally you wouldn't necessarily put thyme in a pork pie. So you can miss it out if you want. But we're making standalone pork pies where you can just eat and enjoy the full flavour. There's nothing bland about these and they're not overpowering with spices. You know sometimes you can bite into a pork pie and it just tastes of bland pork. Not nice. Now I have some small tins here but they are larger than the muffin tins and I realise that some people might not have small tins but they might have a muffin tin. So I'm thinking we make some in there and make a couple in there. So that's our meat mixture. We're just going to leave it. Yeah, you can put it in the fridge, you can put it in a cold place, you can do whatever. You know, it doesn't really matter because as soon as that pastry's chilled a little bit, we're using it immediately. So don't worry too much about it. So what I've decided to do, I've decided we're going to use a muffin tray, a six tray muffin tray. You think this should be non-stick, but it isn't. It's a terrible muffin tray, to be honest. So what I've done, I've just rubbed it round with some butter. So we've sort of made it non-stick so the pastry won't stick to it. So we've rubbed that with butter, and then what we'll do, I've got some small tins here, like I say. You know, but they're quite big compared to those and they're going to make a really decent pie. So we're going to make in here, and whatever pastry we have left over, and there is going to be leftover pastry, we will roll and make a couple of smaller pies with our meat mixture. We want some flour on here, and we want to start rolling out some pastry. So we're just going to do that we want to roll it out. Now we're not going to go too crazy on rolling it out. It wants to be about three millimeters, somewhere around about there. Three millimeters thick. We want to cut a couple of these out of here. Now it will spring back I think after it's been cut. That should be okay. So we're going to peel that up there, like that, and we are going to put that straight in there, all the way to the bottom. Perfecto mondo, and we're just going to carry on with the rest. So just peel up your pastry. And dump it in there and do the same with them all and then what we'll do is we'll just roll out some more so what I'm going to do now is fill out the bottom of these with our pie mix our meat mixture so let's get some of that in there and we're just going to push it in nice and steady down there And then we'll be able to gauge just how much we will need for those small tins. Okay, so that's a nice little mix in there, look. So we are going to roll out some lids. Now I'm going to use that same pastry actually for now. 
and then we'll get onto that other pastry. Nice and steady then. One, two, three. I'm going to take our little cake nozzle. Okay, so in here we have a little bit of egg milk wash. Now it's one egg and a little splash of milk. What I'm going to do is just gently, do we don't want much, but we just want to put a little bit round our pies. Because we want our pastry to be stuck in there. What we're going to do is shove that in there and shove it down okay i'll just take that one so once you've got your lids on like that we want to be either folding over or just joining together it depends how you can get your lid to join you know and it is just the usual crimping nice and steady all the way around so two fingers one finger crimp it up what a little tray always stand your pies on a tray because it's going to cook inside with the fats and it will leak out even though we've got a big air hole in there and then we just want a little bit of an egg wash on there Now what you've got to try and do is egg wash the top and the sides but only a little bit round the sides. We don't want it to go all the way down the tin. We want the oven on for a temperature of about 170. 170 for about 25 minutes. So we're going to make three little individual pies at the same time. Butter out these tins. Trial and error, one of those. Let's just have a see. Take that. Oh, I think that was a pretty good guess. Okay, that's fine. There you go, that's good enough. Right, that's what we're going to do. Have another little tray here look we're going to put those on there so again it's just take your meat mix and fill your pie now it doesn't matter if you get egg on your meat don't, don't worry about that now we need to take our lids and shove it in the Now it is an awful lot easier working with individual pie tins like this. So again, this time it's easier to fold over, crimp it in. There's our beautiful looking pies because they're individual, you know, it's easier to work. Right, egg wash. that is our little pies and then what we're going to do is put our second lot of pies in there for 25 minutes so that is our mini pork pies there look and you can see the bubbled right up to the top now they look absolutely cracking individual pies Again, we have to let them cool down. The next stage then, let's get these out of here. Look at those. Fantastic. The next stage is completely optional. Some people don't like the jelly 
in pies. Other people, they do. So either put it in or don't put it in. It's up to you. Now, all the jelly is, is a chicken stock cube in some water and some gelatin mixed in. Okay, now the correct way to do this, you have to put an air hole in. Now, basically when you tip the fluid in there, it expels the air out and the um, jelly mixture comes round the meat. And if it comes out of the hole, it doesn't matter, you know. We've seen it a thousand times, but it's a jelly out of the hole, who cares? So you have to put a hole in. So just put a hole straight in anywhere but towards the edge. Now what we are going to do is attempt to pour that jelly inside that hole. This is going to be a nightmare because I am so clumsy these days. So that's full and it's started to blow out of there. So let's do another one. Oh, there's a lot going in that one. Can you see it come out of that air hole there? So that's filled up and puffed up inside. Okay, so once you've got enough jelly in your pies, you have to let the pies set up. They have to go completely cold now and the jelly set inside. It's just like setting a jelly, a sweet jelly, but we're making this savoury. Come on, let's get in here. Oh, look at that. Perfect pork pie. And you've got the little bit of jelly in there, look. Because <laughs> we filled our pie so full. That is sensational. Perfect party pork pies. Mini pork pies at their best. The best bit. Look in there. We got our jelly set up inside there. But we filled our pork right up so you know you can hardly see it but you can see the jelly set around there that is fantastic that really is i mean look at the quality of the meat there that looks like a fantastic pork pie let's get dug in oh wow oh that's incredible mm. that is delightful Oh, we got our jelly in there. That is an absolutely fantastic party pork pie. Seasoned very well. It doesn't need anything else. It's delicious. That is standalone. That is a perfect pork pie. But you know, I love my mustard. So, oh. So we'll just have a little tad of mustard on here. Let's give it a go, see what it's like with a bit of the old Coleman's. Wow, look at that. <laughs> mm. That is absolutely sensational. That is party pork pies made. That is delicious. That is an absolutely fabulous party pork pie, if you like what we're doing. Don't forget the big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell. Catch you in the next video.